But why am I a ghost? I've achieved everything I dreamt of in life. I've had literary success, and I even met my idol, Poe himself. What could I have possibly left unfinished? We need to identify a significant event in your past to find the answer. Go to the portal near my chapel and head down to the hourglass storage. I'll meet you there. <laughs> Somebody has arisen. Stephanie, hello, how are you? They've been using the spirit box on you. Welcome back. Mm-hmm. Una's been, you've been here the whole stream? No worries, lurking is cool. How far in the future is this Reynolds? I don't know, definitely far enough. Death has such a smooth voice, butter in my ears. All the lure you into is deathly charms, you know? No, seriously, they have been like recently asking for you. So like very recently. Okay, so what is this? This is a rib. Okay, let's add the rib there. There we go. We have whatever this thing is. It's a pendulum. Oh, nice. Um, I need the collectible. Ring of Solitude. Reynolds was our man. Now he's laid to rest. Yeah, he, uh, he got old, right? That's kind of how life works. Let's see here. Pendulum, there we go. We have a couple things, I guess. We've got fertilizer and a graduation cap. That goes there. Gypsum, water. Hmm. Can someone invoke two million dollars to check if that works? <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. The magic is astounding, right? Yeah, no, the the bonus definitely skipped like 50 years or something. Look at him. He was a young professor. Now he's obviously no longer young anymore. It definitely skipped like 40 years or something. So what do we got here? Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, he made an impression of the bird. Don't know why we need that. This reminds me, I was watching somebody play uh, the Grave Digger game. Have you seen that game? It's a short game, but... Uh, Basically, you are literally a grave digger who the, your boss is like, go dig up the grain is, graves and steal all their jewelry. <laughs> and then you use the money to like buy uh, tools to keep the demons away from your grave digging adventures or whatever. Okay, so what do I need to do with this? Central element is missing. Teaching children is stressful. Sure it is. It was 50, it was 1949, and now it's 1999. Oh, there you go. Thank you, ladies. He has 50 years in the head. He's fine as a, as a ghost, like fine, like okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yummy. I don't know if this is going to go here. It is not. It's going to go there. Here we go. Hmm. Do they have to spin? 
No, they don't. I feel like they should be spinning. Swap and rotate them. Oh, I see. This is the only one that spins. Oh, good lord. Neat trick. Didn't quite get that one right. You saw someone on TikTok play it? Yeah, it, it's, uh, it looks interesting. It's obviously tongue in cheek, but uh, it's like basically one of those economy games, right? But your economy is all driven off you stealing jewelry of people you've dug up. It's just pretty, there's like two endings, pretty short, like two hours to get each ending. My old office. I haven't been here in a long time. Yes, we've gone back in time, but we can't permanently affect anything. Think of it as a frozen point in history. Let's have a look around. Are we doing the old Christmas Carol gag here? Is this what we're doing? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm saying, you know, it. I agree. He is adorable. That's fine. Find clues. Gotcha. One more to go. Pumpkin. I want the pumpkin, sir. There we go. I've seen people play the trading card retail game, but I'll be honest with you. I'll Interesting. Not... Tell me, Adam. No. Did anyone spend much time in your office besides you? Yeah, good question. I just, like, if I want to play a Ryoto game, I'll play the supermarket one, right? Lots of people. My assistant, students, and sometimes even other teachers. Okay. What does that got to do with anything? Puzzle piece. We've missed these three, you know. Wow, we still actually got quite a few puzzle pieces left. Oh boy. I definitely have Detroit Become Human on my playlist. I've had, I played it on the PlayStation before. Woo, Elephant Games logo. UV light. All right, chat, we need a UV light. We gotta check for fingies. Fingies and footprints with our UV light. Let's see what else we got here. A plus? A statue f sat here before? There we go, looking good. I absolutely love Detroit Become Human. I Yeah, I played it on the PlayStation um, back in the day. But it's been a while, I don't remember it much. And I do have it on the PC, so... Elephant Games does make good games, I agree with you. The game starts with M. You have to steal to get a ticket to leave? I, you didn't take a photo of the UV print? Oh no. <laughs> You gotta take it within like 60 seconds. Okay, we have a book. Okay, let's see what books we got here. The Spectacles. The main character of the story f finds himself in a very awkward situation due to his reluctance to wear glasses. The narrator is a man suffering from Coletta Epicy. I don't know what that is. He finds himself in a situation that helps him cope with his main fear of being buried alive. Good lord. How can you not have the fear of being buried alive? I feel like that should be the most common fear of everyone. Sarah, welcome in. How are you doing? How the little one? How are you feeling today? Ooh. We're playing a little Edgar Allan Poe right now. 
We actually are Edgar Allan Poe, yeah. Uh, we've opened the door. Let's go outside in the hallway here. The whole hallway is imbued with the spirit of youth. I think I'm getting sentimental. You're good? Great. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty darn good, you know? It's October. It's the favorite month of the year for me. And I've got a whole list of different uh, games I want to play over the next uh, four to five weeks. And uh, we're going to be having a lot of streams in our near future. Yeah, should be a lot of fun. Let's see. I found Kat's YouTube and now I'm subscribed and she can't get rid of me. <laughs> Happy spooky month to you. There you go. All the things used in, pla in Phasma will be forever be associated with it. Yeah, I think Phasma is a hidden gem and I think it's a cultural phenom in the smallest way, but when you know it, you know it, you know? It's so small that even I can, can't read it. What do you mean? Oh, it's down here. Yay. You bought a game before you bought the charger. <laughs> you must be very passionate about that game. We have now the three out of three on our fertilizer and we have a quill pen. We need some images here for Edgar Allan Poe. And we need a magnifying glass, watering can. Of course, it's locked. Yeah, like we're gonna play Silent Hill, Resident Evil, Fatal Frame, Tormented Souls, Evil Nuns, Curse of the Bridge, My Friendly Neighborhood. We got a, I got a whole list of stuff. Not all at once, obviously. Gotta pace yourselves, but because it looks fun AF and it was on sale. Hey, I like buying games on sale. I shouldn't touch them. If the leaves are full of life, they will release the object themselves. Only they need to be watered and fertilized. Like today, I got the Bioshock collection for like $10. It was great. Now, I mean, it's not technically for me. It'll be something that I give away, but it felt good. $10. Okay, so my little buddy here. Okay, so we're, we've got to deal with this now. Oh, it actually has water. Gotcha. Look at all the pretty flowers. Let's see what we got here. More flowers, please. I bet you these flowers smell amazing. Back in the day, there were a lot of cases of people buried alive because of misdiagnosed cases of calepathy. What is calepathy though? Is that why they have bells like graves? So you could ring the bell if you're buried alive? Okay, let's hint the last one. Gotcha. Any creature can encounter a writer's block. Remember, you are not alone. Someone was very worried about Newman. I should ask him about this person. Hey, bro, who's this? Who dis? This is a card from my assistant, Miss Roberts. She may have had some sweetness for you, my friend. I found it in the flowers in your office. I saw traces of her presence everywhere. She loved you. She loved you, bro. That makes sense. She would cheer me up with puzzles and riddles when I had writer's block. You had her and you didn't even know it, bro. I found the key to the lecture room in my stash. You should take it in case you find something important. When was the last time you write in a journal? 
Uh, I usually write in a journal every January. And it's going to be my goals for the year. And my goals can be work-related or personal or, you know, financial or spiritual. But yeah, I usually in January I'll write my goals out for the year. Okay, so I've got a lecture hall key. I don't know if that counts, if that's what she meant. Okay, let's see if the key works. It's a neurological condition characterized by muscular rigidity. Oh, they, people thought they were dead. Oh. There's an example of it in The Nun, where the nun's spirit pushed the priest character underground with a dead corpse and had to trigger the bell to let the lady know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the spirit, the grave bell is for then. I want to cry so bad. Main game EAP was our ghost. We had to help him. Now we're helping. Yeah, we're helping out the other guy. We have swapped roles. And look, we're back in the classroom where the main game started, too. It looks like the assistant had the hots for our Reynolds here. That's typically how it goes, right? You don't really recognize what's in front of you. That's typically how life goes. Ooh, it's a bat. Hmm, some coffins that were opened sometime later had scratch marks. Oh, God, that's... That's a little scary. That's what I'm saying. How could you not be afraid to be buried alive? Mm-hmm. Tears are gone now? Yay! Even if it's just for a short term, it's... You know, it's, you gotta let the tears go sometimes, and then... Bring them back when it's needed. Okay, so what are we doing here? Isn't this called Newton's Cradle or something? A statue. With some glue. There we go. That's crazy. They open coffins and there's scratch marks in it? Oh my lord. <laughs> I just thought about that for a second. That is the stuff of nightmares. Truly horror, oh boy. Three times four. Why you read my comments so wrong? What? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Got the shivers, Gibbs? Maybe. Are we still talking about feelings? Who's we? <laughs> I run. I'm out of here like the little kid, the little baby. Okay, where am I putting this plus here? Oh, I see, we gotta put a pipe there. We only have two out of four, so I don't see how we're gonna do that yet. And kill Bill Part 2, she gets buried alive and uses a special technique to escape. Gibbs, I love you. Is that a feeling? Corkscrew. Yeah, I, I don't know. If being buried alive seems unnecessarily cruel. Oh, I guess the plus goes here. Okay, then we need equals. What's with the kitty cat? Back here we go. Which is better, Kill Bill 1 or Kill Bill 2? I have a corkscrew. It's all I have here. Oh, maybe we can use it here. Here we go. Get some alcohol in him. All his inhibitions go out the window. Mm-hmm. Skizzers, please. Mm-hmm. 
I need to figure out why I need skizzers. <laughs> Pouring up glasses of wine. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we gotta get into this. Snack box? No, it's a pipe. Okay, that's not what I was 